What if I told you that long before Europeans set foot on North American soil, there were already advanced civilizations here with structured governments, thriving economies, and sophisticated agricultural practices? Welcome to the world of the Native American tribes in the temperate regions. As we move from the harsh climates of the Arctic and deserts, we enter regions where the land was far more forgiving and the tribes took full advantage. Along the northeastern coast, Native American tribes were not just surviving, they were building communities with advanced farming techniques and structured governments. In this region, the tribes had adapted their lives to the rhythm of the seasons. They cultivated crops like corn, beans, and squash, which became staples of their diet. Their farming skills were so advanced that they not only fed their people, but also had enough surplus to engage in trade with neighboring tribes. These tribes lived in fortified villages, some with structures that would have rivaled European towns in complexity and organization. Trade wasn't just about goods, it was about connection. The Northeastern tribes were expert traders, exchanging not only food, but also art and tools made from materials like copper. And because they spoke languages from only two major language families, communication across tribes was easier, fostering a network of trade that stretched across vast distances. Farther south, the southeastern tribes took this organization to the next level. These tribes shared a common language, which helped them build even more complex social structures. They had governments, laws, and social hierarchies that were remarkably similar to those in European societies. But perhaps the most striking feature of these southeastern tribes was their dedication to agriculture. The rich soil and warm climate allowed them to grow crops year-round, and their entire society revolved around the agrarian calendar. One of their most important celebrations was the Green Corn Festival, held during the harvest season. This wasn't just a feast, it was a spiritual event where they cooked corn for the gods and then for the entire community. The night was filled with bonfires, dancing, and thanksgiving, a true celebration of the Earth's bounty. These tribes weren't just surviving, they were building vibrant, thriving communities with rich cultures and deep connections to the land. But there's more to the story. In the next part of our series, we'll explore the Great Plains and the unique relationship the Native American tribes there had with the buffalo. Click the I button to watch the next video and uncover the fascinating traditions of the Plains tribes.